Hey guys, I'm doing another EDC update for October. Sorry I didn't do one last month, uh, but it's been pretty busy in my job, so you know how that goes. Um, still using a lot of the same things, but I changed some things up. It makes my EDC a little lighter. I like it a little better. Basically, I'm still using the same key setup with a lucky line lock. Some paracord and I got that fire starter in there still see it works great my keys don't rattle nothing makes noise I don't sound like a janitor walking down the halls of the hospitals and stuff still got my iron key for work so I can't even take this off even if I wanted to and my little Gerber artifact still the same blade a little rusty I rarely use it since I carry any my knife still got the iPhone with no cover I'm gonna be ordering a Magpul the gray one and a screen protector probably today or tomorrow it looked really nice you know st solid so that's what I'm gonna go with I still use the same EDC knife which is a ZT0801 but I did polish up the hardware all the little hardware there there all of them even the uh, the clip ones the black it just didn't look right this knife is very nice I'm actually trying to get <clears throat> a Sebenza 25 because it's a little bit more narrow I think it'll fit better in the pocket but this is a still a great knife I use this every single day another addition is a uh, I got rid of my old wallet. I went for a saddleback saddleback leather ID wallet. This is a great little wallet. Very small. I can barely feel it. It has two pockets here that fit about three. I got two credit cards or two cards in each hole, but it fits three with no problem. It stretches out after like the first couple days. I got two IDs in here, which is my concealed carry permit and my license back here there's another slot I got like all insurance information and stuff and here is the money this is the only gripe I have about it is kind of hard to put the money in take it out maybe it's because I don't carry a bunch of 20s or whatever maybe it needs to get stretched out more that's like the only gripe I have but besides that it's great. Look how thin it is. That's it. That's all in your pocket. It's night and day compared to what I had. I did have to go through my old wallet and basically get rid of everything I don't really carry every day. I still have my baton, S10 baton from Olight. It's great. They do have a new one out <clears throat> that I saw. It's called the S10 L2 and uh, it puts out even more lumens and it has a couple other features the button is a different color it's like blue so that's like kind of you can tell a difference and for me this is great um, I don't think I'm gonna get the other one the other one's still I think under 50 bucks you could find it this one now is like $30 $35 on Amazon and it you know I clip it onto my cargo pant I wear pretty much cargo pants or cargo shorts everywhere it works great don't have any complaints I've dropped this thing like 30 times now and it's still going strong still have the same watch I wear it every day I only have one watch this is it I did see a really nice watch uh, that Skelton put up on Instagram and it looks great and I was reading up on the you know the movements and, and the material he's using. It's a quality watch for 
a pretty good price if you can afford it. It's about $500. Um, if you don't follow Jim Skelton on Instagram, follow him and look back through through his uh, pictures or whatever he posted and look up. Look up. What did he have? It's under Strider Watches. I think it's it's named under named after his son. His son's name Strider. So yeah. And another recent acquisition is this little pen. It's a Fisher Space Pen, but it's not the little bullet pen. I like this one more. I think it just looks classier. You can see it's still very small. It's the X750. And they have it in several different colors. The same model, but different colors. I got my fiance a, a blue one. She loves it. This thing writes on everything. It's so much better than just a regular pen. I am going to get, this is the medium point. That's the medium point tip. I'm gonna get the fine point. I like fine point more than medium. It's about five bucks for the, you know, the insert or the replacement cartridge. Well, that's about it for this update. If you guys have any questions, please leave it any comments or questions below. Thank you very much.